Here's another gas law problem. And just like the other gas law problems, I'm going to read through this problem and I'm going to circle all of my data. Um, the before conditions I'll circle in green and then the after conditions I'll circle in red, just like the other problems that we did. And then based on the variables that we have, we'll try to figure out which gas law we're going to need to use. So this says uh, you have an you have inflated a balloon to a volume of 22.4 liters exactly. At this volume, you know that you have one mole of gas inside the balloon. So I can see that my initial set of conditions are here. I have a balloon with a volume of 22.4 liters, and then I have one mole of gas inside the balloon. Uh, it goes on to say, if you continue to add air to this balloon, and it reached a volume of 32 liters, or 32.7 liters, how many moles of gas would it now contain? So we have our variables here, and I'm going to assign them a label. Uh, so we'll start up here with the things I've circled in green. So we have this initial volume, we'll call this V1, is equal to 22.4 liters. And then we have initial number of moles, which is N1, and uh, lowercase n stands for number of moles, and that is one mole. Then we have our after set of conditions, so we have V2, which is equal to 32.7 liters, and then we have N2, which is our unknown. So in this problem, we're going to assume that pressure and temperature are going to remain constant. And so you can see the only variables that I have are volume and number of moles. And so the law that we're going to use is Avogadro's law, which is V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. And so you can see what's in green is our initial set of conditions, or the before, and then in red is the after set of conditions. Now I want to solve for the number of moles. I want to solve for N2 right here. So I'm going to manipulate this equation to have N2 all by itself. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get N2 on the top of this fraction that we see. And so I can actually just flip this fraction. And if I do that, I need to flip this fraction. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do the same to the other side. And so I'm going to rewrite this. With those fractions flipped. Over V2. And now you can see that if I multiply both sides by V2, we will get the V2 to cancel on this side. And we'll be left with N2 by itself. And so N2 is equal to V2 times N1 over V2. Now I can just plug in my numbers. And so I have 32.7 liters, that's my V2, times 1 mole. And that's over our initial volume of 22.4 liters. Okay, so we'll do the math here. And we'll see that N2 is equal to 1.46 moles. Always a good idea to go back and double check, does your answer make sense? And so Avogadro's law says that as the volume increases of a gas, the number of moles will also increase if pressure and temperature remain constant. And so in this problem, we can see that the volume increased, and so our number of moles went up from 1 mole to 1.46 moles. And so yes, our answer makes sense, so we're probably correct on this answer. So just to recap what we did there, 
We've read the problem. We circled our before set of conditions, 22.4 liters and one mole of gas. And we circled our after set of conditions here in red. The volume changed to 32.7 liters. And we wanted to calculate how many moles of gas we had in this new volume. We recognized that we wanted to use Avogadro's law, which is right here. We rearranged the equation to solve for N2, plugged in our numbers, and we got an answer of 1.46 moles.